What is the most fucked up thing a teacher you know has done? Try to convince a class full of 8th graders that dinosaur bones aren't real and that they are rocks placed there by the devil to test our faith. I grew up Catholic and went to Catholic schools from kindergarten to senior year of high school. 7th grade teacher screamed in my face for crying in class once. What makes it worse was it was on the anniversary of my dad's death. Here in Switzerland, we've got compulsory handicraft lessons from 1st till 9th grade. In 2nd and 3rd grade, I had a handicraft teacher who was completely fucking insane. It was only when I became an adult that I realized how messed up this woman was. Here are some of the highlights I remember. Whenever we had to paint with acrylic colors, she made us suck our brush clean afterwards. Like, instead of going to the sink and washing the brushes, we had to put them in our mouth and lick slash suck them clean. Needless to say, some of us regularly felt sick and nauseous when we were leaving her classroom to go to our next class. Our teacher insisted that every lesson be started with us singing one or two songs together. This by itself wasn't very strange, it was elementary school after all. However, she exchanged a lot of the lyrics of those children's songs and made us learn her lyrics instead because she considered the real lyrics unacceptable and inappropriate, even if they were completely fine. For example, she got really pissed over one song mentioning chewing gum because she believed by doing so, the song was animating students to eat a lot of candy and unhealthy stuff, she herself was obese so. Some extra irony there. In every lesson she made us gather around her desk to show slash explain something to us. Now, her desk had these extension boards, to make it larger. When they weren't in use, they'd just be hanging down on the sides of the desk. If a student stepped a bit closer to have a better look and accidentally touched these extension boards, they'd make a rattling sound. It was really no big deal, but our teacher always got irrational angry over it. She decided that we had to be punished for accidentally making that rattling noise. So, whenever a student touched those boards and they made a sound, he or she had to put his hands on the teacher's desk, palm down, and the teachers would repeatedly stab his slash her hands with a sewing needle. One time a girl began to cry, so as extra punishment for that she had to complete her workout in the hallway where it was much colder, this was during winter. This teacher was also incredibly ableist and that was a problem for me because I'm nearly blind, by that I mean I need a seeing eye dog when I walk outside, not I need contact lenses. Despite my parents having countless parent-teacher talks with her and giving her the letters from my eye doctors, my teacher refused to believe that I'm blind. She claimed I was just a dumb boy who was pretending to be blind to get out of work. As you can imagine, this was extremely hurtful to me, especially as an 8-year-old child, where I didn't have the verbal capacity to stand up to this woman. When I couldn't see things, like threading a needle, my teacher degraded and humiliated me in front of the entire class. She'd call me all sorts of names and think of creative punishments for my disability. One particularly traumatizing experience I remember is when we had to make something out of wood or carton, don't exactly remember, and had to use hot glue. We weren't allowed to use the hot glue ourselves. Instead, we had to take our little project, line up, put it on our teacher's desk and let her do the gluing. The hot glue came out of a pistol-shaped tool that needed electricity to work. Like the name says, the glue was very hot. I put my project in front of her and... I don't exactly know what happened, but my teacher later claimed it had been my fault for keeping my hands on her desk. I feel like I pulled them far away and just sort of rested them on the edge of the desk. Anyway, instead of spraying the hot glue on the wood, my teacher deliberately sprayed it on my right hand. It hurt like hell and gave me really bad blisters that could be seen even several weeks later. The worst part is that she never got punished or reprimanded for her abusive actions. She retired like any other teacher. As an adult I once wanted to visit her and tell her what a fucking cunt she was, but my friend told me she had died two years earlier.